Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Lala, if you're new here. It's early. It's like 7 o'clock right now. We're just going to spend like a day or two together because I want to go through the things I bought on Prime. Because honestly, it's like a lot of it's really functional. And I'm excited to show you guys like what I'm using it for. Like a couple things that I really want to share. So let's get another vlog going. Happy Friday, everybody. It's like probably the... It's Friday, July 14th. And it's wild to think that July is almost over already, so... All right, let's get the day started. Good morning. Really did not sleep well, which is such a bummer because yesterday I didn't sleep well either and it hindered like my workout and everything. So this goes to show how important sleep is. Okay, yeah, you guys, it's Friday night. I'm home. Taylor and I just got a quick dinner down the road from our house, and I thought I would vlog a little bit more today, but we had a crazy day. Long story short, the couch that we sold, we now have to drop off tomorrow morning because our driveway is going in on Monday, which is amazing, but that's when it was gonna get picked up. So I had to like deep clean it and do all those things. And I had last minute lens meetings, I had some work to do, and here we are. So I really wanted to show you guys what um, I got on Amazon Prime. And I think a lot of it can be really exhausting, but truth be told, there are some like amazing deals. I saved like $200 on what I purchased and I am all down for saving money right now. So I kind of splurged. I feel like everything I've wanted to buy at Target and such, I ended up saving for Amazon Prime because I was like, I know it'll be, even if it's like $3 off, it all adds up at the end. So that's what I did. We'll start with lens. I got a ton of new film. Um, this is Polaroid film and I also got point and shoot like, a, like an actual film camera film. Um, which isn't here yet, but also, yeah, not everything's here, but I'm like too excited to talk about it. And then I'm not showing it this second, but I'll show you a picture of this right now. I got the iFlex phone stand and I'm obsessed. It's the exact thing I wanted. It like sits on any curve, I guess you could say. So I really was looking for something that could go over the treadmill. I could watch vlogs on, I could watch my shows on while I'm on the treadmill because I hate the treadmill and I need to be distracted when I'm on it. So I got that iPhone stand for that and it comes in a pack of two and it, it truthfully just is exactly what I was looking for. It folds flat too so you can like travel with it and reuse it in a bunch of different areas and I love it. It's also good for airplanes, good for like cubicles if you work in office, all that stuff. So my main purpose was to get it for the treadmill but there's a lot of different purposes for it and I already am obsessed with it. Moving on to self-care this is like my favorite go-to bath salt it's the dr teals i've been using it since i was like in elementary school and it always makes me think of my mom so i will never ever stop using this i got the family or i got the value size family size that's what you get on chips next thing i got is like the goop beauty dry brush and i actually used it today i'm like this box is empty and you caught me red-handed but um it's the goop 
Beauty Gtox dry brush and I've had my eye on it for a while. It has a handle and if you do dry brush, I've tried to get into the routine. It's kind of hard to like reach certain spots in your body with just like a palm one, which is what I have. So I really wanted to get the one with the handle and I trust really any and all things Gwyneth Paltrow does, although that may be controversial. I'm like, you can't argue with the way she looks at 50 years old. So this is the Gtox airbrush. I got that off Amazon. I love that Amazon sells Goop products because it's really easy for me to get. Sticking with body, I got clean and fresh deodorant. This is all natural deodorant, they say. I got like a ton of feedback today on better brands I can use, but the best advice I ever received for going non-toxic is only start when you run out of something. Like don't stop everything you're doing cold turkey go from, for example, when you run out of a product, like I just ran out of deodorant, then buy non-toxic. And I did that with my household cleaning products. I use Get Safely, which I love, I love the scent. This is naturally friendly deodorant and I'm sure I will not hear the end of it from Taylor because he doesn't like when I try natural deodorant for obvious reasons, but I really do want to stop like shoving my armpits with aluminum and all the toxins I have in my current stuff. Then I got this firming and toning oil. It's for like my arms and my legs. It's, it's essentially like cellulite fighting. Staying on theme with loving on my feet more. I really never, ever, ever touch like my thighs, the back of my arms, like my shoulders. And I really want to like love on that part of my body more. And my skins. I got an oil that promotes like firmness and rejuvenates the skin. And it's also plant-based. So I got this, which I'm excited about. And it's, I love it. I've used it two days in a row and I love it. I love the scent of everything. I got a bunch of new essential oils. So I diffuse oils every night before bed. I usually do lavender eucalyptus and I worked with Majestic Pure, the brand. And this is the eucalyptus. I'm like, listen to the oil. This is the eucalyptus and I'm diffusing that as of now, but I also got two more cases of lavender, but it's nice to kind of switch it up. It's just nice to remember things, but I always do eucalyptus, or eucalyptus or lavender before bed. And I love the Vitruvi Move Diffuser. I know I've said that before and I'll say it again. It's really, really an easy to use, simple aesthetic diffuser that I just love. I love it. It's right there in my nightstand and I'm way too lazy to get to show it to you. Oh, you guys, I didn't tell you this one either. This is just a battery pack for my cameras because with lens I need like charged batteries on deck to just put in my camera and this is also a two-pack charger so I definitely need that for weddings then moving on to hair I don't have a parting brush I'm like can you see that I parted my hair this morning so I really want to get in the habit of parting it right down the middle every day and usually I'm like which you guys have all seen a hundred million times so I got a brush for that then I found this from like literally no influencer at all I just searched based on Amazon readings this is a curling wand that comes with like five different heads and I really am excited about the quarter and half inch one. I'm really gonna try to bring to life Carrie Bradshaw's curls. And I know that's crazy, but I walked in like five years ago to a hair salon and I was like, can I get a Carrie Bradshaw perm? And they were like, no way your hair is so thick, it will never hold. So this is me trying to live out that dream and I saw that people are accomplishing it with a 0.5 so this one has a 0.5 and a quarter inch and I'm really excited to try it and I will be vlogging that eventually so stay tuned for that because it could go really really wrong it's like a five in one top comes with the glove comes with like all the pieces apart which I love to travel that way I really love to travel when it's all separate it's so easy to just throw one tool in there and it covers you for the whole trip so I was really excited about this I'm really getting sick of my Dyson Airwrap stopping in the middle of my blow. I know I need to go get that fixed, but oh, it's just so weird. And some things that haven't come yet, I'll share what's on my phone. I got these cute little AirPod Max cases that are like glitter. They're very on vibe for me. My all time favorite hair product ever. I've used it for over 10 years. I think it's seven seconds leave-in conditioner. It's the best selling product of all time. And I've used it since college. I've used it all through high school. It's my favorite product ever. Then I got like a really cute pink clothing rack because I want to lay out things that I'm gonna wear when I pack. I'm really getting sick of losing it all. I got a white drying rack for my dishes by the side of the sink. I've got more hairspray, a uh, camera bag for weddings, and then this cute Mackenzie Childs dog bowl for water. Um, and then uh, I, got the, I got the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops to put under makeup. I'm super excited about those because I haven't been able to get my hands on them for a really long time the best hair gel literally ever and then there's my film camera that i'm so excited to use so, so i got a lot of yummy really good things on amazon prime and i feel like i'm actually missing something 
I also got some fertility things that I don't need to share, but I got I got pre-seed, I got more supplements, I also got the foot scrubber, like the shaver, and I know that I'm not supposed to use that, but there's truthfully no better feeling in the world than getting all the dead skin off your feet. Like, I will do that until I die. So I got a new one of those because I've had the same one for like 10 years and I'm like, mm, that's probably not sanitary. So, so I got that and yeah, a lot of good stuff. I'm excited to use all this stuff, but I'm mostly excited to try and curl my hair like Brett Carey Bradshaw. And two, I'm so excited about my film point and shoot camera. I really have been wanting to get in film for a long time. And the camera I got from Urban Outfitters is for like pros apparently. I cannot figure it out and i think it's because it's like a cheap you have to know what you're doing film camera so this is a point and shoot really easy to use film camera that i'm excited to use at weddings and for friend stuff and everything so, so yeah i just filmed that with wine tea very on brand for me i guess we are gonna go up north tomorrow are we gonna go see rusty can to see rusty By the way, I didn't wait to get this on Prime, but I got this rug on Amazon too. And I know it's originally from maybe Anthro or something, but the dupe is seriously almost the exact same. And I love this pink color against my gray cabinets. Okay, last thing I wanna say before I go to bed, I just finished two really good books and I need to start sharing what I'm reading more on the blog because honestly, I read quite a bit and it's, truth be told, like my favorite pastime before I go to bed. I just finished Happy Place and lock the locked door and they both were so good happy place was a really nice light-hearted cute romance um really interesting read but it also made me think a little bit about my life and the decisions i've made the decisions i want to make and the future i want to build and stuff so it was a really cute romance novel but kind of a little had a little bit of a deeper layer and i loved that because it really did challenge me to think about my life and things I want to do with my life and like the way I was raised and stuff, which is always a good thing to reflect and to be self-aware and everything. And then the locked door, finished that in two days, really quick, psych thriller, so good, so scary. And the ending had a twist I did not see coming. The whole book I was like, oh my god, this is so dumb, I know who did it. And boom, of course, I had no idea who did it, so. Everyone left really good reviews for that book though, so, so I figured it was gonna be good, but. It was like watching a horror movie before bed every single night and it was really scary. Not my vibe, but glad it got me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and okay guys, tomorrow we're gonna wake up. We're going to transfer the couch. We're gonna go to Taylor's cousin's grad party and we're gonna go up north. Lots of things to do tomorrow. So I'm probably just gonna vlog in the morning and then launch this bad boy. We have a very exciting week next week, like very. I'm going to the Minnesota Bride Gala, which I cannot wait to go to. I got a cute dress from that and I, and I showed a sneak peek of that package today, but I got like 19 packages in the mail today. It was really bad, so. But I need to find a good book before bed. I finished both my book club ones really early, so. If you have any book recs, comment on them below. Okay guys, here is the Vitruvi Move um, diffuser and it's, I actually need to fill it up right now. All you do is give it like a tiny bit of water. And you put your foil in there. You do not need a lot. That was kind of a lot. And voila. And then it goes all night. And it charges right on that little port. Also, I'm not sure if you can see in here, but look at how pretty sun is so serene i love it good morning you guys look how good our mirror looks here this is this is going i need to move right now but look how good this mirror looks right here i'm really glad because i didn't know what to do with it but good morning it's like eight o'clock taylor and i have Clean the whole basement. We are putting the couch cushions back on the couch because my friend Storm that bought it, she is picking it up today because our driveway's going in on Monday. I've said all this, but kind of a wild morning. Taylor's going to get a Starbucks with the dog so they're out of our hair for a minute. 
But I also just wanted to show off how cute this mirror is looking here. I'm so glad I was thinking about selling it and I'm so glad I didn't. So, like I thought I was gonna do all new kind of stuff in here, but I really do think that this is working. So, that's kind of fun because this is a nice mirror that I want to keep forever. It was one of my first like big statement purchases. Anyway, good morning you guys. I don't think I'll be vlogging too much this morning. I will carry this into the cabin tomorrow and then launch this tomorrow night. We have flowers we need to get today. We're going up north, we're going to a grad party. Lots of things, so. Lots of things going on this Saturday, but most excited to get up north, be with family, and spend some time at the lake. What's new? Happy Sunday. We are just having a really cozy day at the cabin. We're gonna swing by and go see my sister and brother-in-law's new house. They're building on land near our cabin, so super excited to go see that. And we're gonna do homemade fresh pasta tonight, which will be so fun. And yes, I'm wearing Taylor's ring. <laughs> He's going to go help uh, on their house. Um, electric and painting, I think, so handyman things. It's really windy out today. It's beautiful, but it's probably like 64 degrees and really windy and it's making me very very excited for football season um, Another thing you guys Kayleen had her baby Darcy had her baby our other friends had their baby So there's three babies that welcomed us in the last two days and I am just overjoyed Everyone's healthy. Everyone is happy and almost getting home. Kayleen just got home today uh, I think Darcy will go home tomorrow. So I'm just like so happy for all the new lives brought into the world this weekend and just drastically increasing our value of life so I just feel so blessed to have these new children in our lives I know our time's coming and I just love these new babies so much and there's more to come and it's just really crazy it's it's just such a blessing and I feel so overwhelmed with gratitude and love in my heart for these new children so so excited about that had to share in the vlog because I literally was just like bawling over Charlie and Leo and all the new kids that are here. It's it's so fun because two of my best friends 
had a baby a day apart. So they were both due on the same day and they had one and Leo and Charlie are just one day apart. So that's so fun for them. But anyway, you guys, happy weekend, happy Sunday. I will be launching this just in a few hours. So this is actually live. So if you're watching this on Sunday when I launch, it's actually today, which I think is kind of fun. That's one thing I like to do. I like to launch my vlogs kind of as fast as I can. So I'm heading home tomorrow and I have the Minnesota Bride Gala on Tuesday. I'm so excited for that. That'll be next time, the next vlog. And I'm gonna vlog the whole day. We're doing blowouts, makeup. We have formal dresses and everything. It's black tie, so. And it's black and white theme, black tie. So I've got a fun dress for that. And I'm very excited to bring you guys along for that. So that's coming next week. And thank you so much for watching and we will see you then. And I'm just realizing this has a smudge and I hope it hasn't been smudgy this whole vlog. Bye everybody, have a great week.